Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to de-blister the skyline from the package, painting spectra frame on the body, changing a wheel set, as well as recut the casting. First, I will apply any brand of hobby thinner on three sides of the cut, front and back, where the blister come into contact. Wait for a couple of minutes and slowly remove the blister. If the blister is stubborn, repeat the process and wait for a few more minutes. The R33 is now out from the package and now I shall proceed to remove the reverse and change the wheel set. From here, I will use the long nose plier and click on to the axles and pull out the original wheel set. Followed by a minus hobby screwdriver to loosen the contact point. I chose the popular four spokes wheel set, apply to the base, and do a quick mock up to ensure that it fits okay. The paint is now straight from the body, and I will use a file to smoothen out all the edges before I proceed to polish. You can use any polishing brand, preferably with a Dremel, to achieve a mirror surface body. For the paint application, I use a Tamiya Clear Blue Enamel Paint. After 3 coats of paint, followed by additional 2 coats of clear gloss coat, it should achieve a spectra frame finish on the body. I paint the real lights and additional decals on the body before 2 coats of clear. And now it's ready for final assembly. The casting looks great, almost very close to a super treasure hunt. And now I will recut back into the blister, which I purposely faced the wrong direction. Use a hair dryer to go through the three sides of the blister. Remember not to go too close, as the blister may melt. The blister is now fully intact. In the event the blister is loose, Apply white glue and repeat the process. Now you have a spectra frame blue body with rubber tires sitting inside the R33 card. Thanks everyone. Bye.